Hey, what up guys? What up? What up? In this video, guys, we're going to talk about is it hard to learn SQL? Is it? Is it easy? Is it hard? How is it? How is it compared to learning Python, JavaScript, you know, C++, for example? But before we get started, guys, go ahead and hit that like button, guys. Give me a follow, man. I appreciate it. Give me a follow on Twitch. And um, let's get started, guys. So we're going to talk about how hard is it to learn SQL, right? And that's very subjective, like how easy and how hard, because we all learn differently. Everybody for programming in general, for some comes so easy and for others so damn hard, right? So, I mean, it's subjective for sure. But what I would say is if you're a programmer already, right? Let's say, you know, Python, you know, JavaScript, something, right? You know, a language, right? whether it be Python, whether it be JavaScript, C Sharp, it doesn't matter, but you're learning language. <clears throat> you understand about iterations. You understand about, about variables, for example. You know, you just understand how to, you know, different, you understand about functions. You know, just things of that nature, right? How to um, use a variable in, in your code, as an example. All of just data types. Let's say you understand data types is another thing, right? If you know all of everything I just mentioned, right, which is very just basic core fundamentals of programming. It went, when you go to SQL, it's going to be easy, dude. I'll tell you right now. It's going to be very, very easy because it's actually not that hard. Again, subjective word, but it's not that hard when you compare it to a programming language. It's not. And if you know how to program, do SQL going to be a breeze? Like it really is. Now there's things that could get more complicated in SQL without a doubt, but I'm talking about just the core basics of SQL. It will be so, so easy, man. Even the more advanced stuff in SQL, you would find to be somewhat, you know, easy to kind of grasp and to, to learn. It's not that hard. <clears throat> now, if you're a newbie, and you you want to learn SQL, but you have at least some sort of technical background to some extent, right? Maybe you're an Excel wizard to some extent, or you know Excel very well. So you already have you're already familiar on certain functions on how Excel works, you know how to do you know summarize data sets, things of that nature. I don't think it's going to be too hard to to learn Excel, to learn SQL. Uh, I really don't, man. I think, you know, because your mindset at least understand, again, fundamentals of certain aspects of it. Um, like, just like in Excel, if you have a data type of of text, you can't sum those values together. Well, the same thing is, is true for SQL. You can't sum up text column data types. So there's a lot of things that would make sense and you, don't, you will grasp very easily. If you're somebody fresh, right? That just is not tech savvy, but you want to get your foot in the door and, and SQL is going to be the, the language that you're going to start off with. It's not going to be easy, but I would say it's going to be easier than learning, you know, JavaScript, C sharp, C plus plus, for example, uh, because your background, again, if you're, if you have that kind of background, which has no experience, no exposure of anything related to data in general, dude, it's again, it's, it's not going to be easy, but you could learn it. And it, it and, and here's the, here's the plus side. That's the way I see it anyways. Like for me, when I got into programming, I didn't start programming first and then learn about SQL. I actually learned database first. So I became very good in database you know, working with databases, right? You know, SQL Server, Oracle a little bit, Postgres, MySQL, stuff like that. And then eventually I learned programming. And when I started learning programming, dude, programming was actually, I feel, became kind of easy because I was doing some advanced stuff in SQL already. You know, creating procedures, uh, creating functions as well, uh, dealing with um, like dynamic uh, SQL and all, I mean, variables, I mean, the conditions, right? If else condition is SQL, I was dealing with a lot of stuff that you deal with, with a programming language. So once I started learning programming, I was like, dude, I done all of this before. This is not new. 
Now, of course, the syntax is different in whatever language you're doing it in, but the concepts do were were not new at all. So that I kind of benefit benefit from it that way. But just kind of looking at it from a high level, is it hard to learn SQL? Again, subjective answer what I'm about to give because it is. But I do feel if you have a coding background, it can be easy, dude. Super, super easy. If you have some sort of least technical analytical type background as an analyst and you're already familiar with dealing with data sets, you know, let's say CSV and Excel kind of data sets and you're, you know, somewhat Excel savvy, I think SQL would be kind of easy. It is going to be, I, I feel kind of easy to learn. If you're somebody who has no technical experience, like you don't know anything about Excel, you don't have any exposure to different data types, uh, you don't have an analytic analytics background or even exposure to analytics or none, none of that. Excel, not Excel, um, SQL is going to be kind of tough. But again, I think it's a lot easier to learn that compared to learning the programming language. And even though the, the road may be kind of slow, but once you do learn SQL and you learn more advanced aspects of SQL, like procedures and functions and things of that nature, uh, cursors, um, if else conditions, etc. Once you decide to, if you decided to learn how to program, dude, it's going to be easy. It really is. It's going to become very easy to switch on over to, uh, to learn programming. So that's my thought on that aspect. You know, kind of just show you a quick example, right? Those of you who are new, I'm connected to a, a dev database that I have. As you can tell I have a whole list of tables over here to the side. It may seem like a lot of tables, but honestly, a lot of applications, especially enterprise applications, you're going to be dealing with hundreds of tables through my experience. In some cases you're in, you're even dealing with thousands of tables and you're dealing with dozens of databases as well on top of that. So that's a whole different story there. But you know, let's say I have this table here, which is the share item table, which is what I'm showing here. You know, you see different columns, you know, you got different values, date, true and false, which is Boolean. Again, they different data types. And we look at the structure. We'll see different data types, varchar, which is text, you know, a GUID, uh, timestamp, which is date time, of course, uh, integer, uh, then in eight and in four, it's a different type, the bytes bit type of integer, which is bigger, holds a longer, bigger, um, longer value. But again, that's stuff that you will learn as you go on showing you something very basic, right? If I want to access this data, it's literally as simple as select star star means give me all the columns from then you specify your table. Now, if I specify my table literally from shared items, I like to specify the schema and I like to do that because it's just a habit of mine. And then uh, because you can have different schemas, again, this is something that you'll learn once you start getting exposure. You can have a database with different schemas and then for each schema, you know, you have different tables in those schemas and then you could limit it, right? In this case, it's a Postgres database. So you could do like limit one, literally just give me back one result back again. The basics of it pretty straightforward. Then you start getting more, you know, adding where condition where conditions to determine, you know, where date is in 2022, right? So you want only the data for that year. Maybe you're looking for specific users. Maybe you want to do a date range, you know, between this date and this date. Uh, I mean, there's the conditioning could be whatever it is you want it to be. Um, and the list goes on and on. But again, guys, is SQL hard? Not if you already have a background. And if you're fresh with no background, it's going to be a little bit tough, but it is way easier, in my opinion, to learn SQL than it is to learn the programming language. And if you do learn SQL, I could tell you right now, once you understand the fundamentals and the basics of SQL, you know, um, data types, declaring variables, you know, cursors, if statements, 
uh, procedures, functions, like all the stuff that relates, which is a little bit more advanced, but once you get familiar with that in SQL, dude, it's gonna be so easy to learn a programming language, whether it be JavaScript, Python, PHP, the list goes on. It's gonna be way more easier, guys, it really is. So hopefully this kind of helps out, give you at least, at least a little bit of insight if SQL is really hard, because maybe you've been thinking about learning it. And honestly, guys, if you're a programmer already, even if you're a, you consider yourself a junior dev, I can tell you right now, SQL will be easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy. Again, guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching the video and take care. Peace.